Tigers have rolled to a 49-7 lead over Georgia Tech on the low snap. Graham wants to go deep, headed for the end zone, and a touchdown. The strike for Brown, the freshman from Tampa for six. Wanted to have Amari and Brown, get Brown give him some wrinkles. Well, here's one late running by Kayvon Wallace for the touchdown. A football game to play, and I think both teams want a do-over from their last games. Tobias Oliver down the middle, middle shot there, and a catch. Amarian Brown inside the 35-yard line. A great job on the same. You see the linebackers coming up, safety comes up, and no one over the top late to get to your middle third. He's number 13, and, and you just can't do that. Angel Gray reported earlier, Lucas Johnson is not available, out with an injury. So it's Oliver here on third and eight, down the field, on the money, right on the sidelines. Amarian Brown makes the catch. He feels very comfortable, Oliver, throwing the ball on the run. Great job getting over the linebacker, getting over Bradley's hand right there. They're actually... And Chapman was a guy that they had seen when he was recruiting for West Point. And he had family in the... North Carolina area. They called him up and said, you interested? Here's Amari Brown in stride for the touchdown. And Chapman got beat there by the speedy freshman Brown. And he's able to deliver an absolute dime on the run to Amari and Brown down the field. That's the throw that gets you excited. Very little productivity outside of that first drive for the Yellow Jackets. Graham. The spiral over the shoulder at the 10 yard line and caught. They'll mark him out at the 8. Amari and Brown spectacular grab. Again, here's Brown. Excellent job. I mean, you talk about a perfectly thrown football. Back in the secondary indicates zone coverage. Graham heaves it for Amari and Brown. He held on for the touchdown. What a catch by Brown. What a throw by James Graham. It's two under, it's two over the top, but it looked like man coverage underneath. Safety just does not get out far enough, and that is a well-placed ball on the outside. Amari Brown catches it. What are the Jackets going to do for it now? Nothing to show after the missed field goal last time out. There is no review. Graham unloads it. In stride and caught. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Amari and Brown at 51 yards for the Jackets. Well, we've seen James Graham run it a couple times. He's been a bright spot early in this game on the ground. But here's why he's truly a dual-threat quarterback. Just lays it. Tenth catch of the season for Davis. Transfer from UConn. Graham from the pocket. Down the middle of the field. It's on target into the end zone. Amari and Brown from James Graham for the second straight week in a deep ball TD. Electric fast right here. The freshman from Tampa in Amari and Brown. Look at him adjust to the football. He's a trickster. Quarterback's got a live arm, and I said they're down to their sixth or seventh defensive back. Quite a good matchup. To the end zone, trying to take advantage of those defensive backs, and a connection was it in bounds. Amarion Brown, touchdown, his sixth as a freshman. Just a beautiful ball by James Graham here. First play, 54-yard dime. Now, two plays later, drops one where only his receiver can catch it. This guy who's a natural thrower, who Jeff Collins has all the faith in the world in. One timeout left for Georgia Tech. Graham, back corner for Brown. Another touchdown for Morgan Brown. And that ties the freshman record at Georgia Tech. What a ball. What a throw, and he does it with a defender in his face. James Graham takes a monster hit, much worse than the one that got the roughing the passer, and he delivers a strike to his touchdown machine. Amari and Brown, all he does is catch touchdowns. The true freshman from Tampa. Of course, North Carolina has Mercer this weekend. They'll have NC State next weekend. Georgia Tech will take on its clean, old-fashioned hate rival in Georgia. There goes Amari and Brown. This guy can absolutely burn it up.